Well, uh, it was my wife, Kathleen, who first drew my attention to it. She pointed out something which looked like an aeroplane. But um, after some time, a minute or so, we saw that it wasn't because of the shape, number one, and the lights. And at this stage, it consisted of, to our mind, uh, it looked like a cloud with two lights shining out of it, but they weren't flashing on and off as you would see in an aeroplane. When we had travelled about two miles of the road, it had dropped to a level of about 100 feet from the ground. And how far away from it uh, were, were you from it at this time? Uh, it's very difficult to say, but it looked like 150 to 200 yards. It was uh, more or less hovering at this stage. Could you see um, a shape at, at this stage? No, just a mass of light. And it was coming down from the sky? Uh, it had come down, and at, at this stage it was hovering. And what about colours? Was it red or white or what? It consisted of three colours, uh, an orange and crimson light, which seemed to be coming more from the top of the object, uh, which was, the whole thing was surrounded then by uh, a mass of bluish fog or vapour, which uh, more or less obscured the whole object. Well, what, what was its shape? Uh, it was spherical, half a sphere, I suppose you could describe it. And did it actually come down and touch the ground? Well, I had been looking at it. Uh, when we got to, to the point where we saw it hovering, I stopped the car, switched off the lights and engine, uh, to see if I could hear any noise. Um, there was no noise from it. Uh, it was moving in a kind of a backward, forward direction and dropping very slowly. I was looking over a five foot fence and Kathleen at this stage got quite frightened. Well, what frightened you about it, Mrs. Shelley? I just couldn't understand what it was. Well, what did you think it was? Well, I did think it was some, I won't say flying saucer, some identified object, something I had never seen before, something unnatural. To and my mind. Yes. Did you get out of the car at this No, stage? I didn't. I stayed inside and I called John. But you had a clear view of it? Yes, I could. The window was down and I could see it probably not as well as John saw it at the stage when it was hovering. But I I was watching it uh, the whole time while it was descending from the sky. And indeed, it's just what John said it was. You saw yes, just what he exactly. saw. exactly. We discussed it afterwards just to make sure and we did see exactly the same thing. And... When your wife called you to get back into the car, had the thing landed at this stage? Well, it was just dropping below eye level at this stage. And my reaction then was to go down after it. And I was just about to climb the fence when Kathleen <laughs> called me back. And discretion, so, discretion uh, being the better part of <laughs> valour, you went. <laughs> I went, yes. Well, now let's just look at some of the possibilities. Do you think it could have been a, a, a meteorological balloon or something? This was my first thought, actually. There could have been something like that. But then, of course, I don't know very much about meteorological balloons, uh, but I would have thought that it couldn't drop so fast from the sky. It or, dropped or, that distance in a less than three minutes. Or possibly have been 30 feet on the height of a house. Yes. But what about, what about bog mist of some sort? Did this occur to you? It did occur to me, yes. Well, now, you've had a week or more to reflect on this. Have yes. you thought what it could possibly be? Uh, I'm keeping an open mind on it. I'm not convinced of anything yet. But the Shelleys were not the only ones to make this odd sighting. Young Ellen O'Donnell was coming home one and a half hours later with her boyfriend when she saw the lights too. I saw this strange object. I can't... <laughs> over there and... Um... Up against the hill? Yes, up against the hill, and I just said to Teddy, there's something over there, and he said, don't mind it. What colour was it, Ellen? Oh, every colour, orange, crimson. I think there were a slight, you know... There were lights coming out of it? No, not exactly. What shape was it, would you say? Shape. It was, was more it? round than anything else, I'd say. I'd say it was just something... 
An aeroplane, maybe? No, no, I wouldn't say that at all. Uh, what about some sort of mist? Could it have been No, mist? I wouldn't say that either, because it was something I never saw before, and... Well, did it frighten you? Yes, it did. What did you do? Did you go straight home? <laughs> I jumped at Teddy's arms. <laughs> and off you went then, did you? No, well, we had... We, we saw it... Uh, we were walking and we saw it, you know... But was it the moon? Suppose it was the moon. No, it wasn't the moon, no, definitely. It's or some stars? No, no. Just something I just couldn't really describe. It wasn't stars or the moon for that. Much.